Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program 2 video. While this video will be primarily about the Kraken Drive, I'll also show you a couple of things that I've been up to in KSP2. Now the Kraken Drive that I'm referring to is the backwards rapier engine. Apparently the way this works is that you get a rapier engine and you put something in front of it about two clicks away from it and suddenly the engine produces negative thrust way more powerful than its actual thrust. So apparently what people have been doing is that they've been taking the rapier engine and putting it on the nose of a craft backwards and then they put like a aerodynamic nose cone in front of it activating the angular snap tool and pulling it away from the rapier about two clicks or two snaps away from the rapier but the thing is is that the rapier is always at the front of the craft which doesn't look all that great so what i was trying to do is i was trying to find a way to put it in the rear of the craft make it look a little better this however meant a lot of testing and every single test i thought i was getting closer and closer and closer to a solution but unfortunately it was just another failure right after another i got one where it was really really close i thought there was something going on, but it was uncontrollable and unpredictable. I finally just gave in and put it on the nose of the craft because I just wanted to see just how powerful this thing was. And boy, it did not disappoint. Once I found out how to make the rapier work, or the Kraken rapier, I should say, I decided to get the camera up close and personal to one of the Kerbals. I wanted to see their new reaction animations and stuff of this nature according to high G forces, like acceleration. And it was freaking hilarious. I even managed to make the Kerbal almost throw up. Of course, I was very curious as to what would happen if I cranked the sucker to 100. And, well, he'll be fine. So now that I knew that the backwards rapier engine only worked a certain way, there had to be some way I could conceal it, perhaps in a cargo bay or something of that nature. Something that would allow me to have the Kraken drive, but not have it so blatantly out in the open. Try to keep the cool factor in check. First, I tried to see if you could have multiple rapier engine Kraken drives, one on either side. Now, I knew that th that even, even for our KSP-1, this would be pushing it to the limits for KSP-2. The fact of the matter being, would the game mechanics even pick up the Kraken-y driveness of both rapiers on either side, or would one rapier kick in before the other and cause the vessel to spin or not work at all? But I had to test it just to make sure. Sadly, the dual rapiers on either side of the craft was not a success. It wasn't even registering. Now that I think about it, it was probably because the wings were in the way, but at the same time, I don't see the Unity game engine being able to recognize both Kraken drives at the same time. One would probably activate before the other and cause a lot of problems. So I opted just to get for a, put a single Kraken drive in the back inside of a cargo bay, and I got some pretty interesting results.
So right here I was noticing that for some reason I would have to go really really high and as soon as I pointed down towards Kerbin or towards its core, suddenly the Kraken Drive would kick in and it would kick in hard. But as soon as I pitched my nose up or looked the other way, the Kraken Drive would no longer work or operate. It was kind of weird, but it gave me an idea. Apparently, it looks like that the Kraken Drive, or the Rapier Kraken Drive, not only only works a certain way when it comes to building it, but it also works a certain way when it comes to placing it on the craft. And from what I've been able to discover through observations, is that the Kraken Drive only works, or works much better or more predictably, if the Kraken Drive is in the very front of the craft, away from the center of mass, or just a little bit away from the center of mass, towards the front of the craft. Whatever that is, it has to be in front of the craft, a little bit of ways from the center of mass. And then suddenly it works just fine. So now, what was I going to do with this newfound Kraken power? Well, of course, I gotta find a way to test this craft out thoroughly, or this drive, so why not take it to Jewel? First of all, I had to make the craft a little bit more slick looking. That meant getting away from the horrible cockpit bump and trying to smooth out the fuselage a little bit, make it look cool. Normally, I'm not the kind of person that would make one Kerbal have to travel for a few years inside of a small living space, but in this case, I didn't care. So finally we got to Joel, and I managed to land on Lathe. And even though KSP2 has a bunch of bugs, it still looks quite beautiful, in my opinion. So after landing on Lathe, I decided to take a few beauty shots, and lo and behold, the Kraken attacked, and unfortunately I lost my front landing gear. And then when I took the Kerbal out to take a few more beauty shots, the Kerbal got stuck. So, that happened. Now I know that there is a new update for KSP2. I tried to download it, and it failed multiple times. I had to uninstall and reinstall the whole game for it to work. However, when I loaded up the craft that was Kraken Bait before the update, in hopes that it was now fixed, I got this, a craft that melted on the runway, and bad frame rate. Now this is just one craft, and I'm sure they fixed a whole lot of stuff, but for now, I just have to keep playing until I see a noticeable 
whole change, other than just faster frame rate. But anyway, that's all I've got for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below about the updates as well as the Kraken Drive. As always, if you like this video, please leave a like, and if you really, 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 really like the video, consider subscribing. I upload often, mostly on the weekends. We also have a membership program if you're interested. Get cool little emojis and badges and stuff. Pretty cool. Check it out. But anyway, love you all. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.